Do you want to make six figures with dropshipping in 2024? Welcome to the exciting world of dropshipping, a business model that's making waves in the e-commerce industry. In essence, dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method where you, the store owner, don't keep the products you sell in stock. Instead, when a customer purchases a product, you buy it from a third party and have it shipped directly to the customer. The beauty of dropshipping lies in its simplicity and accessibility. You can start with minimal upfront costs, you don't need to maintain an inventory, and you can run your business from anywhere in the world. It's an enticing prospect, isn't it? A business model that allows you to earn a healthy profit while eliminating the traditional hassles of retail. So are you ready to explore this potential gold mine? Intrigued? Let's dive into this promising world of dropshipping. First things first, you need to choose your niche. And let's clear one thing right off the bat. A niche isn't just a fancy business term. It's a decisive factor that can make or break your dropshipping journey. So what's a niche? Simply put, it's a specialized segment of the market you're planning to cater to. Now, why is selecting a niche so crucial in dropshipping? Well, by focusing on a specific niche, you are effectively narrowing down your competition. It allows you to target and connect with a precise group of customers who are genuinely interested in your products. It's like trying to hit a bullseye instead of the entire dartboard. So, how do you choose a profitable niche? The first step is researching market trends. Stay updated with what's selling hot and what's not. Use tools like Google Trends or social media platforms to spot the latest fads and trends. Next, evaluate your competition. Are there already big players dominating the niche you're eyeing? If yes, it might be a bit challenging for a beginner to carve out a space, but don't let this deter you. Remember, competition also signifies demand. Thirdly, consider your personal interests. While it's important to follow the market trends and evaluate competition, it's equally important to choose a niche that you're passionate about. This passion will keep you motivated during the inevitable ups and downs of your dropshipping journey. Make sure to balance these factors. Choose a niche that is trending but not overly saturated and something that you're genuinely interested in. This combination can help you create a unique value proposition, stand out from the crowd and ultimately turn a profit. In summary, choosing your niche is an art and a science. It's a blend of market research, competitive analysis, and personal passion. It's not a decision to be taken lightly because the right niche can be your golden ticket in the world of dropshipping. Remember, a well-chosen niche can set the foundation for your dropshipping success. Now that you have your niche, it's time to find reliable suppliers. In the world of dropshipping, suppliers are the backbone of your business. They're the ones who store, pack, and ship your products directly to your customers. You don't need to worry about inventory or shipping, but you do need to ensure your suppliers are reliable, high quality, and trustworthy. So how do you find these reliable suppliers? Well, a good starting point is to search online marketplaces and directories that specialize in dropshipping suppliers. Websites like Alibaba, AliExpress, and Global Sources are a treasure trove of potential suppliers. But remember, not all that glitters is gold. Vetting your suppliers is a crucial step. Look for suppliers with years of experience, positive reviews, and responsive customer service. Don't be afraid to ask for references or samples of their products. After all, the quality of their goods will reflect directly on your business. Another tip is to consider the location of your suppliers. If your target market is in the United States, for instance, suppliers in or near that region may provide faster shipping times, which can greatly enhance customer satisfaction. But finding a good supplier is not just about checking boxes, it's about building relationships. Once you've found potential suppliers, reach out to them, discuss your business goals, negotiate terms, and establish a line of communication. Remember, a good supplier relationship is a two-way street. This process may seem daunting, but it's worth the effort. The right supplier can make or break your dropshipping business. They can ensure your products are of high quality, delivered on time and appropriately packaged. They can handle returns and replacements, saving you a lot of headaches. But most importantly, a reliable supplier can give you peace of mind. With a good supplier, you can focus on growing your business, knowing that your customers will receive their orders as expected. So, take your time, do your research, and build those relationships. Finding the right suppliers is a critical step in your dropshipping journey. A reliable supplier is your key to delivering quality products to your customers. With a supplier on board, you're ready to build your e-commerce store. That's right, 
it's time to roll up your sleeves and set up your virtual shop. Think of it as a digital reflection of your brand, your vision. And the good news? You don't need to be a tech whiz to create an attractive, functional, and profitable e-commerce store. There are numerous platforms out there designed to make the process as smooth as possible. So, where do you start? Well, there's Shopify, a popular choice among newbies and veterans alike, known for its user-friendly interface and array of customizable themes. Then there's WooCommerce, a flexible WordPress plugin that allows you to maintain complete control over your website. Other options include BigCommerce, Magento, and Wix, each with its own unique set of features and benefits. Take the time to research these platforms and choose one that best fits your needs and budget. Now let's talk about design. A well-designed e-commerce store isn't just aesthetically pleasing, it's also easy to navigate. This means having a clean layout, intuitive navigation, and clear high-quality images. Remember, your customers can't physically touch your products, so your visuals need to do all the talking. And speaking of talking, let's not forget the importance of product descriptions. These should be detailed and engaging giving your customers a clear understanding of what they're buying. Think about the key features of your product, its benefits, and why it's better than the competition. Paint a picture with your words and make your product irresistible. Next up is customer reviews. These are incredibly valuable as they provide social proof and build trust with potential customers. Encourage your customers to leave reviews by making the process simple and straightforward. And don't shy away from negative reviews. Instead, use them as an opportunity to show your commitment to customer satisfaction by addressing any issues promptly and professionally. Lastly, ensure your store is mobile friendly. More and more people are shopping on their smartphones, so it's crucial that your website looks and functions just as well on a small screen as it does on a desktop. Creating a successful e-commerce store involves a lot of trial and error, but don't be discouraged. Keep testing, tweaking, and improving. Listen to your customers, pay attention to your analytics, and don't be afraid to make changes. Your e-commerce store is your virtual storefront. Make it inviting. Remember, this is where your customers will be hanging out, browsing, and hopefully buying. So, make it a place where they'll want to spend time. A place that looks good, feels good, and most importantly, sells good. Your store is set. Now it's time to attract customers. And how do we do that? By marketing your products effectively. You may have the most incredible products in the world, but if no one knows about them, they won't sell. That's where marketing comes in. It's the bridge between your products and your potential customers. Let's dive into some of the most effective marketing strategies you can employ to boost your dropshipping business. First up, social media marketing. With billions of people on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, you can't afford to ignore these channels. Create engaging content that showcases your products and resonates with your target audience. Use hashtags strategically, engage with your followers, and don't shy away from investing in social media ads. They're a powerful tool to reach a larger audience. Next, let's talk about email marketing. Building an email list might seem old school, but it's one of the most effective ways to foster a personal relationship with your customers. Send them updates about new products, special offers, or simply share valuable content to keep your brand on top of their mind. Remember, the key to successful email marketing is to provide value, not just sell. Now on to search engine optimization or SEO. When done right, SEO can drive a steady stream of traffic to your store from search engines. Start with keyword research to understand what your potential customers are searching for. Then optimize your product descriptions, blog posts, and even images with these keywords. But remember, SEO is not a one-time task. It requires constant tweaking and updating to keep up with changing search engine algorithms. You might also consider influencer marketing. This involves partnering with influencers in your niche who can showcase your products to their followers. It's like word of mouth marketing, but on steroids. Last but not least, don't forget about retargeting ads. These are ads that are shown to people who have already visited your store or interacted with your brand. They're a great way to remind potential customers about your products and nudge them towards making a purchase. These are just a few strategies to get you started. The world of digital marketing is vast and there's always something new to learn. So keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep your customers at the heart of your marketing efforts. Remember, the goal of marketing is not just to attract customers, but to build relationships and create loyal fans who will come back to your store time and time again. Effective marketing can drive traffic to your store and convert visitors into customers. And not just customers, 
but repeat customers who love your brand and your products. So, start implementing these strategies today and watch your dropshipping business soar. In dropshipping, excellent customer service can set you apart. This isn't just a statement, it's a golden rule. As a dropshipper, your interaction with customers doesn't end when they click buy now, it's just the beginning. Customer service is like a backstage pass to your business. It's where customers get to see how you handle their concerns, their queries, and sometimes their complaints, and how you manage these can make or break your business. So how do you provide excellent customer service in dropshipping? Firstly, respond promptly. In the age of instant gratification, waiting for a response can feel like forever. And that's not a feeling you want to associate with your brand. So whether it's an inquiry about a product or a question about shipping, make sure you're on the ball. Quick responses show your customers that you value their time and their business. Secondly, resolve issues efficiently. Problems are inevitable. It's how you handle them that counts. Be proactive. If there's an issue with a supplier or a delay in delivery, let your customers know. Offer solutions or alternatives. This shows your commitment to their satisfaction even when things don't go as planned. Thirdly, provide clear and accurate information. Transparency is key in building trust. Be honest about your products, your pricing, and your policies. Clear and accurate information prevents misunderstandings and sets realistic expectations. And when expectations are met, satisfaction follows. Lastly, consider personalizing your service. A personal touch can go a long way in making your customers feel valued. Use their names, remember their preferences, or send them a thank you note. Small gestures like these can turn a one-time buyer into a loyal customer. In conclusion, providing excellent customer service in dropshipping is a continuous process. It requires patience, empathy, and a genuine desire to serve your customers well. And the reward? A thriving business built on a foundation of happy customers. Remember, happy customers are likely to become repeat customers. So make customer service a priority and watch your business grow. Once you've mastered the basics, it's time to scale your business. Scaling a business is like climbing a mountain. The higher you climb, the wider the view, and the greater the rewards you reap. But how exactly do you ascend this proverbial mountain in the realm of dropshipping? Firstly, consider adding more products to your store. But remember, don't just add products for the sake of it. Each product should complement your existing offerings and align with your brand's identity. Expanding your product range not only provides your customers with more choices, but it also increases the likelihood of cross-selling and upselling opportunities. Next, think about expanding into new markets. There's a whole world out there waiting to discover your products. Research and identify markets where your products could potentially thrive. Start by dipping your toes in, testing the waters with a small batch of products. If the response is positive, dive right in. Now let's talk about automation. In the world of drop shipping, time is money. The more time you spend on repetitive tasks, the less time you have for strategizing and growing your business. Automating processes such as order fulfillment, customer service, and marketing can free up significant chunks of your time. There are several software solutions available that can help you streamline these processes. Finally, consider investing in your business. This could mean anything from upgrading your e-commerce platform for a better user experience, investing in more aggressive marketing campaigns, or even hiring additional staff to manage the increased workload. Remember to make money, sometimes you need to spend money. Scaling your business is not a one-size-fits-all process. It requires careful planning, strategic thinking, and a fair amount of trial and error. But when done right, it can catapult your dropshipping business to new heights of success. Scaling allows you to increase your profits without proportionately increasing your efforts. It's the magic of growth, the thrill of expansion, and the joy of seeing your business blossom. Let's keep climbing together. Like any business, dropshipping has its pitfalls. It's an exciting journey, but it's not without its speed bumps and sharp turns. Let's delve into some of the common mistakes that can trip up even the most well-intentioned entrepreneurs. First off, choosing the wrong niche. It's easy to be swayed by the allure of high-demand, high-profit products. But remember, a saturated market means fierce competition. Instead, aim for a balance between demand and competition. Find a niche that interests you, where you can offer something unique. Your passion will shine through and differentiate your store from the rest. Next, partnering with unreliable suppliers. This misstep can be a real business breaker. It's critical to choose suppliers who are reliable, 
have good product quality, and can fulfill orders efficiently, do your homework. Research, check reviews, and don't hesitate to reach out to them directly. A good supplier is like a business partner, so choose wisely. Another common pitfall is neglecting customer service. In the digital world where face-to-face -face interaction is absent, excellent customer service can make all the difference. It's not just about resolving issues, it's about building relationships with your customers. Make them feel valued and taken care of. Remember, a happy customer is a repeat customer. And lastly, not keeping an eye on your metrics. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day operations and forget about the numbers, but metrics like conversion rates, average order value, and customer acquisition cost are vital. They give you insights into what's working and what's not, so you can make informed decisions. These pitfalls may seem daunting, but don't let them deter you. Instead, see them as challenges to overcome. Learn from them and use them to strengthen your business strategy. By avoiding these common pitfalls, you can increase your chances of success in dropshipping. Remember, every stumble is a step forward, and every mistake brings you one step closer to your six-figure dream. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned. We kicked off our journey into the world of dropshipping with an introduction to what it entails and how it can be a profitable venture for you in 2024. It's a business model that simplifies the retail process and with the right strategies and tools, offers a path to financial success. Next, we dived into the crucial first step of choosing your niche. It's essential to select a niche that you're passionate about, one that's profitable, and ideally, one that's not overly saturated. Your niche is the foundation of your business, and getting it right can set the stage for your success. Finding reliable suppliers was our third stop. Reliable suppliers are the backbone of your dropshipping business. We stressed the importance of building strong relationships with suppliers who offer quality products, timely deliveries, and reasonable prices. Remember, your supplier's performance directly impacts your customer satisfaction. Then we moved on to building your e-commerce store. We discussed how a well-designed, user-friendly online store can significantly influence your sales. Your store is your digital storefront, and it should reflect your brand, engage your customers, and facilitate easy purchases. Marketing your products was our fifth point. We explored various marketing strategies from social media advertising to SEO, email marketing, and influencer collaborations. Marketing is the vehicle that drives traffic to your store, so it's vital to continually refine your strategies to reach your target audience effectively. Our sixth discussion revolved around managing customer service. We emphasized that excellent customer service is a cornerstone of any successful business. It's all about resolving issues promptly, communicating effectively, and going the extra mile to ensure your customers are satisfied. Next up, we talked about scaling your business. Once you've established a steady flow of sales, it's time to scale. We discuss strategies like expanding your product range, targeting new markets, and optimizing your operations to maximize profitability. Finally, we looked at common pitfalls to avoid. We highlighted mistakes like neglecting customer service, failing to analyze data, and overlooking marketing trends. Steering clear of these pitfalls can help keep your business on track towards achieving your financial goals. And there you have it. From defining dropshipping to discussing how to scale your business and avoid common mistakes, we've covered a comprehensive beginner's guide to making six figures with dropshipping in 2024. With these steps, you're now equipped to start making six figures with dropshipping in 2024. Remember, success in dropshipping requires patience, persistence, and continuous learning. Good luck.